the cause of death of Pee Wee Herman star Paul Rubens was disclosed. The cause of Paul Rubens' passing has been made public. Rubens is most known for his portrayal of Pee Wee Herman in movies and on television. A 70-year-old actor passed away on July 30, 2023. Paul Rubens, who is best known for his role as the hilarious alter ego Pee Wee Herman, passed away from an undisclosed cause. According to his death certificate, the actor's severe hypoxic respiratory failure caused his death on July 30 at the age of 70, people reported on September 8. His death was attributed to acute myelogenous leukemia, a blood and bone marrow disease. A few months earlier, he had been identified as having metastatic lung cancer, which meant that his illness had spread to other parts of his body. When his passing was originally reported in July, a statement on his social media pages read, Paul bravely and privately fought cancer for years with his trademark tenacity and wit. The post went on to say that a gifted and prolific talent, he will forever live in the comedy pantheon and in our hearts as a treasured friend and man of remarkable character and generosity of spirit. Additionally, Rubens was cited as stating, please accept my apology for not going public with what I've been facing the last six years, in a statement to the New York Times. My friends, followers, and supporters have always shown me a ton of love and respect. I have cherished creating art for every one of you and have appreciated doing so. According to the newspaper, the actor established his bow-tied alter ego Pee Wee Herman in the late 1970s while he was a member of the Groundlings, a Los Angeles comedy group. The role was later portrayed by Rubens on The Pee Wee Herman Show, a live onstage TV pilot that had its world premiere at the Groundlings Theater and was later turned into an animated comedy special in 1981. The following was Tim Burton's 1985 film Pee Wee's Big Adventure, and a year after his children's television program Pee Wee's Playhouse made its debut. Additionally, in 1986, he played Max in the classic science fiction movie Flight of the Navigator. Ruben's acting career was put on hold in 1991 after he was arrested for indecent exposure in a Florida adult movie theater, which resulted in a fine. Rubens played characters in movies like Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas and Disney's Straight to Video Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas during the course of the following two decades. He also performed a lot of voiceover work. In the 1999 comic book film Mystery Men, he also portrayed the superhero Spleen, and he recreated the role in the music video for Smash Mouth's smash hit song All Star, which is on the soundtrack to the movie. Steve Harwell, the band's long-standing lead singer, passed away on September 4th at the age of 56. Rubens received an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Comedy Series in the 1990s for his work on the comedy Murphy Brown, which featured him on a regular basis. The actor and John Johnny Depp co-starred in the crime drama movie Blow in 2001. The actor recreated his Pee Wee Herman theatrical production nine years later, and it debuted in Los Angeles before moving to Broadway. An HBO special based on the production received an Emmy nomination. Rubens returned to his iconic role in the 2016 Netflix film Pee Wee's Big Holiday. He continued to work primarily in voiceover and TV throughout the following few years. No tweet can capture the magic, generosity, artistry, and devout silliness of Paul Rubens, Conan O'Brien wrote on Twitter. Paul sent endless senseless memes to everyone I know on their birthday birthday, and I mean everyone. His absurd humor and unwavering generosity were a blessing to us all. Oh my, this hurts.